que kernel ok the eye is really a tricky one that is really a tricky one but we'll find a way to solve it though so i think i will continue with this a bit more uh, not really sure if i should do that you know let's use and do that let's use nine okay ten forty five all right Let's see what we have. Okay, this is actually quite nice. Make sure I'm following the same directionality to it. Wait a minute. Symmetry is off. Turn on symmetry for this. Oh, I was supposed to. Oh, crap. Uh, let's go back to two again. If we go this out, okay. I'm supposed to have this on the other side also. I think. Mm. I'm supposed to have to make it turned on for this part. Let's see if we can undo that. Okay, symmetry turned on now. Let's go in like so. Like so. Okay. Why am I forgetting to turn on symmetry for this? Yes, symmetry turned on now. No. Okay, like so. Okay. So something like that should be fine. Well, I, need, I think I need I need a few up here. But we need to max out. Okay, let's grab this instead. Solo this. Max out these parts. Mm. 
use the process a bit more or match these parts okay blow the marks some more and let's use this in here let's bring everything back out okay okay i'm kind of losing resolution there it shouldn't really matter that much let's just get something in there I miss the flow. Something like this, like this. Just to get some skin detail in there. I think that should be fine. And everything back out. Then go back to nine. Probably increase this a bit more. Okay. Do the same also in here, in here a bit more. Yeah, it's a tricky one. That is definitely a tricky one. So, probably just block out something here for now. Somewhere around there. Okay, then. Let's use eight now. Then okay. That one looks feels a bit too grainy. Let me see if I can even use this intensity first. Let's see. Okay, it's a walk. Okay. Change something like this. Let's use it to fill up this part. Something pretty much like that should be fine. Okay. I believe I can even use this in here. Okay, let me use this in here. So much. I believe I can use that in here also. That one seems a bit too broad. Uh, it feels too noisy. It's quite noisy. Okay, let me leave it for now. For now, we'll try another number. If the number doesn't, look, the number for that area doesn't look good enough. 
then we will just use then we will just use the eight for it. We just use eight for it. Okay, let's do for the eye. I think the eye is an important one. Just a tricky one too. So the eye seven doesn't look quite nice. Doesn't feel like in the right spots. But i twenty four seems like it's in the right spots. Right, but I mean like. Unlike this part, you can, see, you can see this folding around there, which I don't like. I'm not really grabbing all this part of the edge. But this, but this is grabbing most of the edge around there. This, most, of the, most of the directionality of this is actually in there. So I'm going to be using the 24 for it, for both sides. So, 24. So ten forty five. This is a bit different, <clears throat> different intensity for some of the skin pores. Just to have variation of height information in there. Okay. So. Let's go into the let's go in for the eye. Okay, yeah, this is a good spot. Okay. So we need to max out. We need to max. Okay. Let me do it like this instead. Let's mark this invert the max. Invert the max in here. Go back to this piece, then max out this region. Okay. The smaller brush size and erase these parts. Okay. Then <clears throat> go out. Do the subdivision level. Blow out the edge some more. Okay. Go to the higher subdivision level. Then let's draw out the eye. Making sure symmetry is turned on for this. So this one is a bit tricky though. It's kind of tricky. So let's see what we can make out of this. So it's a tricky one. I think we did a good job. I think we did a good job. We just first try on first try on this. Okay, this is actually quite nice. Okay, that will work just fine. Yeah, that will work just fine. Okay, so let's carry on. So, um, I think I want to use. To use them, I want to use nine for the year. So I'm using nine for the year. Oh, it's a low, it's a very low intensity, maybe sixteen. Something like this. Okay. Oh, 
All right, that should be fine. Just give it a bit of break up in there. So now let's use 11, no, not 11, it's a belief. 13. Let's use the 13 for it. Let me make sure I just do a quick save, just to be on the safe side. Okay, uh, uh, okay, then forty forty five. Okay, this should be around the year. Is this 24? I guess because there's a wrinkle detail around there, so we're gonna kind of make sure the wrinkle detail is kind of appearing around here. Mm, I think I need to do this around the uh, so let me rotate this kind of that's where the wrinkle detail is. Mm. Is that probably to do but uh, I don't know. Feel like the size is just way too big. I want something a bit tighter. I want something quite tight. Let's see. This part is quite quite noisy quite noisy um okay i have an idea this marks out this part this marks out this part okay so you want the intent we want this to be affected on the edge we really want this affecting the edge Like so. Like so. Mm -hmm. Something around here should be fine. But now I'm going to use a different alpha in here. So let's blow out the marks. You can see how that shape is actually applying on the edge now. Those lines are applying on the edge. So I'm going to be using the difference. Let me even use nine. I think nine is a good one. Should probably be a good one for this. Or maybe even eight. Let's, let's use eight instead. Yeah, it's it's worked just fine. So I don't want to go into the lips though, so be careful not to go into the lips. Should have marked that, but I think shouldn't be so much of an issue, I believe. Okay, that should be fine. So it kind of feels somewhat noisy. Feels somewhat noisy. Mm, it feels somewhat noisy. Mm. No, what? Let me leave it. I'll leave it on there. You just find a way to blend it down with the other skin pore, base skin pores. You add it on top of on below this. 
Ti, uh, so eleven. Let's use eleven. Four, five, ten. Okay, so <clears throat> this is more there is no need there directionality to this door. So I think something like this should work. Okay. There's something there. Okay, there is there is sixteen. So let me undo that. No, let me bring that back. Then let's go to okay, I think over this part I can just go with this. It should work just fine. No wrong direction. Something somewhat like this should be fine. I think I can just use this. It should be facing like so. Be facing this direction. Like so. So I'm trying to make it as tight as possible. Okay. I think we can go over here also. I think something like this should be fine for now. Practically almost done with this. Okay. <clears throat> uh, okay, we have something. There's something in there. It wasn't 11. 16. Let's go 16 first. Let's go 16 first. Okay. Think somewhere around the air. Okay, somewhere around the air instead. I'm trying to figure out the directionality for it. I'll do this. It's quite noisy though. Yes, yeah, it's too noisy. It's too noisy. I think. Hmm. Hmm. It's too noisy. I think I'll just stick with two. Let's try to. Let's try to let's see how to looks like. Yeah, this will work. This is, this is a better one. This is a better one. Then I can probably use this sixteen. You know, sixteen, seventeen now.
Just keep in mind this is a different different age. I'm not using the numbers, the location for the numbers. Each each um if you have the pack, you will notice that each face has is as a reference of this showing you what is actually in there. So but now I'm just using this random one. I can't remember the particular number it is. So I'm just using that just to get an idea of where the position is. Okay. Turn up symmetry for this. Yeah, that should work just fine. Yeah, okay, we're pretty much done with this. Uh, too aggressive. Take this down even more. Just to fill that part up. You need something for the upper part of the eye. Definitely need something here. Should probably use eight, 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 eight for this. Turn on symmetry. Use this a bit more. Okay, actually something new. Okay, that's fine. See if we can work with this. It would save. All right, so um, now let's blend. Bring this back on. So let's blend these two together. Let's blend those layers together. So let's turn this on. Turn the next one on also. So we should be having something like this, which feels too intense. So let's. See, the name for this is just way too much. Delete this. Okay, something short time should be fine. Okay, so let me start by reducing this section XYZ alpha. Take this down. But if you zoom in now, you shouldn't be seeing so much of it happening, so much of it anymore in there. So if you turn this off and on. I need a bit more. It's almost like it's disappearing completely. So 7.8, 0 0.8 rather. Uh, let's see what we have. Let's turn off this. Imperfect. Let's see this. Okay. Should increase this. Okay. Just trying to get a good balance to it. Okay, then it's getting imperfect. I will just. Put this is zero points. 
for instead so you can see with the combination of these two now you can see how we created something quite nice we have some directionality to it from the 13xyz alpha i think I think we're in a good spot. Yes, I think we're in a good spot now. So the next thing we're going to do in the next tutorial is to create some details for the lips. Then we can start adding wrinkles to this, <coughs> wrinkles to this, and then create some more imperfection out of these two. Okay, so let me save this. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next lesson. Bye for now.